Welcome to October 2019 Energy Trends. I'm Danielle Rama Hoffman of DivineTransmissions.com. This is Tov with an expanded intergalactic council of light moving more to the forefront of this divine transmission. We are delighted to be continuing our exploration of the energy trends of 2019 as we enter into the fourth quarter of this year. There are two larger arcs of energy trends that we would open with before we go into the specifics about October. And the larger arc of energy trends, the first one, has to do with entering into the last quarter of this very magical year and this very evolving year, evolutionary year. It's been one where there's been this continual invitation. It may has it may have felt like being pushed at times or friction or resistance, yet this continual invitation to evolve that that which was once necessary no longer is, and that which you require in the new paradigm of unity consciousness is now coming online. So it's been simultaneously an invitation to stop living the way that you were living in the old paradigm of survival consciousness and to adapt new ways of being. And so we know there's been the sense at times, like let's say you're on a water ski and you're water skiing, you have two skis, that one is going in the new paradigm and you're all about it. And then the other one's just going, well, can I really trust it? Is that really true? What about all this evidence that that's not true? and I've got to survive, and it's got to be hard, and I've got to do things, and they've worked this way in the past, and I'm not going to let go. And so then there's this sense of, of feeling split. And then that other ski comes along, yes, we're going in the new paradigm, and you, and you move in that direction, and then it drags a little bit. And, and then sometimes it goes in the other direction and then the new paradigm energies go that way and you find yourself skiing in the old ways of being and so there's a sense of a little bit like a great dane on roller skates that you may be wanting to to go in the same direction to have more of you in alignment with what you truly know what you truly, truly, truly know as a vibrational recognizer, as a vibrational leader. And we'll get more into that when we speak about the specifics of October. So what's happening the last quarter is really the invitation to get that other ski on board, to be moving in the direction of, okay, yes, in the old paradigm, this is how it was, this is how I created, and it may have been from a lot of effort and struggle and fear and force and survival and lack and scarcity and uh, beating yourself up and thinking you're not good enough and feeling like you are a freak and you're going to be ostracized or lose love or be killed if those really know who you are so then you played small and da, da, da. like that whole thing you you have a phd in there's nothing more to be garnered from it and yet it's a habit it's a way of being and you have a lot of proof to say it works and and so what's it going to take to get that survival consciousness ski all the way on the new path all the way on the new path, all the way on the new path. And what we would say simply, and we'll just do a little exercise here, if you call, if you're called to ask the part of, parts of you that are operating out of survival consciousness to evolve into unity consciousness, 
to evolve to their next evolution in consciousness. So you, as multidimensional leader, energy leader, you can vibrationally set the tone to say, okay, you have everything within you. We're not trying to get rid of any parts. We're always including into wholeness, into oneness. You're always alchemizing, transmuting, bringing those old ways of being into oneness and then moving forward with new ways of being. So we'd invite you to really, really, whatever you can, be, do, have. We know you have a gazillion tools in your toolbox. Whatever it's going to take to reconcile this one ski that's going this way and the other one that's going there so that you pivot and you're going in the same direction. You're going in the same direction. So there's a lot of momentum about that first point in the second quarter, the, the fourth quarter of the year. And the second aspect of the rest of the year, in addition to, well, it's the end of the year, so there's that part of your system that goes, oof, now it's time to actualize whatever I've had in place in this year, whatever my desires have been. Yet the second arc of, of evolution or the energy trend that we would put on the altar here is that quarter four is like the dress rehearsal for 2020. It's like the, the practice the pregame, the 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 dress rehearsal for 2020. So the energies of 2020 are very much pouring in already in quarter four. And so again, if you're the Great Dane and you've got roller skates that are still in the energy of I haven't quite evolved out of these old ways of being because they were necessary in the old game that I was playing, even though I know they're not really anymore. As much as you can pivot and have all your energy going in the same direction, and then it's time for a mini dress rehearsal of 2020. So that brings us to just a quick glance at the energy trends of 2020. 2020. 2020, even the numbers already have you going like, wow, it's double digit 2020. It's like when it was the year 2000, there was like this, wow, 2000 and zeros. There's a sense if you look at when you're born and you just in your mind, just go through the years and you have a sense of like when there's uh kind of a number that already the number has this like okay what's this year going to be about what's this year going to be about so 2020 the numbers repeating and it's a four year if you add the two and the two or the 20 and the 20 together become 40 become four so just looking at the 20 there are there's a lot of momentum, a lot of momentum in 2020. It is this, what we're calling this pivot year. It has a lot of potential. It's like raw creator codes. And raw creator codes to create in ways that utilize all the slingshot. There's been this pulling back, 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 pulling back. You've been on the path for a while. You've been doing it. There's this pulling back of the slingshot, pulling back of the slingshot, pulling back of the slingshot, pulling back of the slingshot. And then in the fourth quarter and in 2020, there's so much tension from all this pulling back that it's inevitable in a really good way to just let let it go and soar and soar we're not speaking about the shift from survival to thrival although we have we're talking about soaring we're talking about using all that momentum 
of separation consciousness to create an absolute new world and new reality, new divine verse, new environment. And so those are the two focuses that we put in terms of the fourth quarter. Now let's talk about October. I invite you to take a breath. It's all really, really good. So October, 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 October. There's a lot we could say about October. Yet what we would bring forward in this first energy trend of the month is very much as above, so below, as within, so without. And for the majority of you that are tuning into this energy trend, you have a lot in the slingshot of within and above, meaning you've done a lot of inner evolution and transformation. You've developed greater sovereignty of your inner domain. And you know that when you shift inside, that's reflected in your outside. And you have a connection to above, to energy, to source. Now we're talking in general. This may not be you exactly. Yet let's say you've got a lot of momentum. You've got the slingshot of the inner and the above going, the above and within. And in October, we're inviting you to very much focus on the without and the below. Making an intimate partnership with your incarnation, with the elements of earth and air and water and fire with the space where all the higher vibrations touch the third dimension. So October is the time to really start to have an emergence in your life in a way that you can see and feel and touch and know of all that you know to be true from the universal principles, from the higher vibrational states of being. So another way of saying that is what does your life look like when it is a reflection of your full self, of your multidimensional self, of your divine self. And to have greater and greater synergy, greater and greater intimacy, greater and greater resonance, greater and greater alignment, greater and greater love of, of your life of your life. So we'll complete this October energy trends with a light language transmission to support the reunion of above and below and within and without and to evolve out of any disconnect between those. So again, if you've leaned heavily on within and above, we're inviting you to pay attention to without and below. If you've been leaning heavily on without and below, we invite you to pay attention to within and above. And more than that, that you begin to no longer distinguish 
between those. For it is really the Emerald Tablet of as above, so below, as within, so without. It's absolute communion and re reunion or infinite oneness on all of those dimensions. So that's what we mean by the last quarter. There's an intensity, there's a potency, there's, there's like that slingshot's not going to be held back anymore. So anywhere that you've been kind of dragging that water ski to get on board, now, now there's the opportunity, the invitation. We want to be clear, we're not saying you've been doing anything wrong. It's simply now all of it's coming online together. All of it's coming online together. So there's less, am I in the masculine energy or the feminine energy to knowing that you're in the oneness and those are a seamless. Like if you're ambidextrous and you use your left hand and your right hand and you don't even realize, am I using my left hand or my right hand? Danielle broke her pinky a few years back on her right hand and her right hand was, is her dominant hand. And yet during that time where the pinky was healing, she began to use the left hand. There became a point where it really didn't matter. She got used to it. The left hand was there all the time. It was there all the time. So that's what we mean. The above and the within have been there all along. The without and the below have been there all along. And you most likely have been dominant with one of those, yin or yang, masculine or feminine. You've been taking tons of action and doing everything you can to change your external world, or you may have been very much focusing on your inner domain, your inner vibration, and not taking action. So what if you now have such absolute union between the above and the below and multidimensionality and three dimension and divine uh, self and incarnated self that it's all seamless, all online. So we'll complete with this energy transmission and invite you as always to take what's yours to be and do and have nothing more, nothing less from all that we've shared in this transmission verbally and of course, energetically. Hashtahuminka nista ato umi ita anka antu ushti stankanti hista kata anka shti stianti kati kastanka tina neminka staya hista kata umpa anti stianta ika shti katina animinka ta aka shti katista ata aku umi hita ita anti ika tia anti iko shti kati shti katia anta anka shti kata Ista kati ika hanti wasti ka anto humi anka sti wa ushti ash ushti ash hinka ta asta umi hinta anti sti katina anamista ta anka tiwa anka ti ashi kati aka to humi an animinka sti kata aka shti katina animinka shti as above so below as within so without so what if you can soar with this momentum. It's a little bit like the analogy of being on the roller coaster. And we're not saying it's going to be a roller coaster because you've already been through the ups and the downs. Yet the idea of being on a ride and that there can be that sense of the slingshot, the momentum of that and the energy of 2020 that has an intensity and a potency. It's raw creator codes. It's it's very potent blocks of consciousness. And so you can try to stop it or hold on to the bar and white knuckle it, or you can have your arms up. Woo! We! And have that excitement, that joy. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. As above, so below, as within, so without, all is light and we are.